What's up guys, this is Mike on the rpf.com. I go by the name KidCast5154. This is going to be part one of my Scorpion cosplay um, or costume. doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not really doing it for cosplay purposes. I'm doing it for Halloween. So I guess in this case it would be for costume. But depending on who you are, what purpose you're, uh, you're intending to use it, this could very well be used for a cosplay. Um, a couple years back, I was really kind of gun ho on doing a uh, Sub-Zero costume. Uh, I wanted to do it all myself to kind of keep the cost down as uh, the costumes that were available for you to purchase were absolutely garbage. Anything that you would see online uh, or that were licensed costumes were just not going to cut it for me. I even went as far as to get a 3D uh, printed version of the Sub-Zero mask that I was going to use as a basis to start off with the mask and then kind of work my way backwards, uh, making the suit myself and stuff like that. Uh, came to the realization that I don't have any real skills or knowledge when it comes to sewing and uh, fabricating cloth. So it kind of never really took off as uh, quickly or as well as I expected. Actually, I never made it past the mask. So I moved on to bigger and better things. And uh, instead of doing that, I ended up getting a Spider-Man replica costume from uh, Brad at SpideyForFun.com, which uh, was amazing. I'm sure you guys have all seen my other videos. Anyway, I had been constantly searching for different uh, costumes and things like that for Mortal Kombat, and I came across uh, someone on Etsy. Uh, the name of the company is Chloe's Custom Clothing, and I believe the lady's name is Leah Fenty uh, in Redding, California. She makes all kinds of different costume clothing, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Jedi robes. She also makes uh, Mortal Kombat clothing. Uh, and so I had her fabricate this for me. Cost about $170. Uh, it came with everything that you see over here, uh, which was this top piece, uh, the belt, and then this kind of loin cloth looking piece right here. Uh, it's actually three separate pieces. Uh, I'm gonna include pictures on the form so you can see it all broken down. On the inside of the belt, this part here, if you were to open up and flip it over, you'll see that there are four Velcros on the top and then one on the bottom. The one Velcro on the bottom is right in the middle for this loincloth part. And then the four on the top are for the front and then back of this guy right here. So this Velcros to this part of the belt and then on the back, it Velcros in on the back as well. And that's how you basically put this all together. Uh, included were also these uh, four arm guards and shin guards. Um, this is all kind of a vinyl-y, leathery type of material. It feels really nice, and it looks really good. It looks uh, professional. It doesn't look like something that was store-bought, which is really, really cool. Uh, also included was a uh, pair of uh, gi-style karate pants. Normally, you would also get a uh, kind of karate gi, sleeveless karate gi top. I, uh, advisor, I really didn't want that because uh, Scorpion never really has anything like that. I told her I was going to use a you know black Under Armour sleeveless shirt instead, so to not even waste time with that. So she didn't include that for me, but normally you would get that as well. Um, this one was custom made for me. This uh, diamond print pattern that you see here is normally not part of this style that she does. This is the, uh, I think she calls it her smoke style, and on Etsy it's all gray and it's just the boxes that you see the boxes and the belt and everything you see here but minus the diamond plate pattern and then she has like the more classic style uh sub-zero scorpion or reptile that have the diamond plate i asked her if she could do this style with the little diamond plate pattern and she said yeah no problem so this one's uh, completely custom and uh still only costs like 170 bucks i don't think the customization really uh, affected the price very much um like I said, the quality feels really, really good. It looks good, which is the most important thing. Um, it took a little while to get to me. I was kind of dumb and ordered right before Christmas. So it took a little bit longer to get to me than it should have. It took a little over a month for me to get it because um, the holidays, she was all backed up and stuff like that. But once she shipped it and you get the notification of shipping and everything, both through, uh, if you purchased it through Etsy, I got the notification through Etsy. Uh, and a tracking number from her. When she shipped it, it took two days to get to me. It was like two day priority mail. So she ships it fast uh, and it gets to you fast. Uh, now I'm going to uh, put this on for you. Just can kind of see how it looks. Um, the other thing, be careful when you do your measurements. She takes your exact measurements 
uh, when you put in the order. Uh, I believe one is around the waist, one's around the chest. Uh, I think there's a length for your uh, legs. Um, but I'll tell you right now, as far as the, the waist goes, this Velcro's on the back right here. Um, this is exactly my waist width. So it's kind of a pain to get this piece of Velcro in the back without seeing this black exposed. So if uh, you're looking to get one, make sure that your, your numbers are accurate. Not that mine weren't, mine were dead on. So it's a little difficult, but if you have it just a little bit smaller, you're, you're not gonna be able to get that to line up. You're always gonna see that black exposed or if it's a little bit bigger, probably wouldn't be a bad thing because you have a little bit of play to work with. But if it's too big, remember that it's gonna look weird because it literally is the exact width of your waist. It fits me perfectly. I don't know if that's the case for everybody or if I just lucked out, but uh, for me, like I said, it, it fits perfectly. Uh, kind of a pain to get that back part Velcroed by yourself uh, just because of how exact the measurement is. Um, I'll also say that uh, while it's nice to have the included shin and forearm guards, um, I really find them kind of pretty useless. They are just a little on the, the flimsy side and because the Velcro is only here and here, when you put them on, uh, if you put them on nice and tight, you'll have this part nice and tight to your arm and then this part will be tight and then this part in the middle will just kind of, you know, kind of stick out. It won't stay nice and follow the curvature of your arm. So uh, I don't think I'm going to be using these. I'm probably more than likely going to fabricate ones out of uh, anti-stress foam and craft foam. Uh, I've seen a bunch of tutorials on the on the forums. Lots of excellent ways you can make really cool stuff with that. So I think I'm going to go that route. Um, let me think anything else I should cover before I try this guy on. Um, no, so you just bear with me for a minute. I'm going to set my phone down, kind of throw this stuff on. Uh, my apologies if you hear me velcroing and unvelcroing. It's kind of like I said, kind of a pain to get that back velcro lined up. But uh, just give me one second, guys. I'm also, for the sake of this video, I'm not even going to put the uh, the forearm guards on, um, just because, like I said, I really find them kind of pointless and they don't really help do anything. This video is more to show you how the actual costume looks, not how the uh, the little accessories look. So, give me a second here. I don't care if this isn't perfect, I'm not going for perfect anyway. All right. All right, so we got this all uh, turned on. Sorry, phone's upside down. Let me just uh, go walk over to the bathroom, kind of show you what this looks like in the mirror. I apologize if my mirror is dirty. But uh, so this is what the, the suit kind of looks like. It looks, like I said, it looks really, really good. Um, I really like it. Sorry about the, the light being all on and stuff. Uh, I really like the way it looks. Uh, one thing I can tell you is the spacing for the the Velcro, if uh, you put it where it's supposed to be, see how mine kind of comes to a point here? If you do it exactly where it shows here, there'll be a gap in the front, which is fine. Uh, the only problem that I see with that is because it's pushed out, these shoulder pieces stick out really far and it makes you look just a little bit weird. Um, and maybe because maybe I messed up the measurements and didn't make it as small as it should have been But I found that if I just kind of push these two pieces inward a little bit uh, So if there's a little velcro on each side you can't see a they kind of come to that point Which is kind of I think more accurate to the games and it brings these shoulders in a little bit So they don't stick out so much which actually looks a little better and then the back I just leave where it belongs and I think that looks fine, but uh, I think it's gonna be different for everybody. It really depends on uh, your shape but for me, pushing them in just a little bit uh, made it look better. But again, like I said, the quality the quality is excellent. It looks really, really good. Uh, and this is without a mask or balaclava or you know forearm guards or anything. It, uh, it's just really, really good quality. And for 170 bucks, um, I mean, to some people that might be a little expensive. Um, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's not anything crazy. It's not like the 800 bucks that I spent on my Spider-Man costume. Um, I think total build cost for this, including mask and boots and stuff like that, will probably be under 400 bucks, which is a lot still, but um, not too bad. And if you wanted to skimp in areas like the mask and and uh, boots and stuff like that, you very well easily could. You know, easily could. This is the main part I think is this piece right here. 
and the mask. And there are so many options. The masks aren't that crazy. There are so many options for Peppercora to make the mask yourself. Just kind of print it up, uh, you know, cover it in the, some type of coating and then resin it or whatever, bondo it. And there's been so many successful ones done on the form that I feel it's not something crazy like a Halo helmet or an Iron Man helmet. The Mortal Kombat mask seemed like it's something that even a beginner of Pepper Crew could very easily do themselves. And I've seen some really good ones, uh, really good ones made. So you could easily save money there. But um, like I said, compared to other stuff I've seen, this is a very, very viable option for anyone looking to do a Mortal Kombat cosplay. She has multiple styles. I'll include some pictures on the forum. Multiple styles of this suit. Um, different colors. She even does uh, Katana and Alina suits. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, please put them down below. Um, this is part one. Part two of this video is going to be once I get my mask. I did order my mask. Again, I got it from Etsy, uh, but this place actually has a, a store online as well. Their name is Hidden Assassins. They're known for making, uh, they're basically technically paintball masks, but they're paintball masks that are. Uh, styled in the you know form of Mortal Kombat they also have ones that are uh, like army of two and stuff like that but they do lots of different Mortal Kombat masks uh, multiple scorpion masks uh, they even do the scorpion mask version that's from the movie um, uh, same thing they do a reptile mask that's from the movie uh, sub-zero masks noob cybot masks um, lots of different options there so depending on who you're looking to cosplay you could easily go to uh, Chloe's custom clothing and get this uh, tabard made in the style of the character you're looking then go to hidden assassins I think it's like 70 bucks for a mask then get a mask that's sculpted and everything to whatever character you're looking to do and right there you spent about $240 but you've got all the main parts that would make up a really really good looking Mortal Kombat costume so anyways I should be getting my mask in about I would say probably a week or so so we'll be putting up another video then. Uh, again, I'm going to be linking this video to the uh, proper replica form I'm a member of. It's therpf.com. I'm also going to be including some pictures of the suit all taken apart before I velcro all the pieces together, um, as well as some of the pictures of alternate costumes that uh, you can get from Chloe's Custom Clothing. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Again, any questions or comments, feel free to uh, either put them in the comment area or privately message me. Thanks.